Hello everyone, we are back with the topic, the multiplier, and we just want to focus on the uh, exam type uh, questions. Now, the first question is, using the information provided, calculate the multiplier and you get 3 marks. Now, the first part of answering this question is to write the formula. Multiplier is equal to change in income divided by the change in total expenditure. Or you can write it in um, symbols. It's still fine. Then the next step is to substitute those symbols using the figures that we are given. So the change in income, income changed from 1,500 to 700. This is what we see here. It changed from 1,500 to 700. And how do we know that it changed from uh, 1,500 to 700? We look at these symbols that we are given here. It's CIG. Then we have C1I1G1. So it means it moved from this to this. So it changed from 1,500 to 700. Now, from the expenditure side, we see that it changed from 800 to 550. Then, what is 1,500 minus 700? And what is 800 minus 550? We get 800 divided by 200. 50. And what is our answer? Our answer is 3.2. Now, our question is 3 marks. That means you get 1 mark for the formula, 1 mark for substitution, and 1 mark for your final answer. Question number 2. Explain the multiplier effect on the economy. How does the multiplier affect the economy? What is its um, effect? Consumption spending causes a decrease in the multiplier of 3.2. Remember, we said it changed from 800 to 550. And the income changed from 1,500 to 700. Now, if it changed from 800 to 550, that means it is a decrease. This is where I got this term. Please don't get confused. It all depends on the figures that you are given here and uh, these symbols that I said you must always check. Is CIG at the top or is at the bottom? If it is at the bottom and C1, I1, G1 is it at the top, then it means it is an increase. But in this case, we are answering according to our graph. So this one is a decrease. So there is a decrease in the multiplier of 3.2. And the result is slower economic growth. Question number three. Explain the phrase multiplier effect briefly. What does it mean when they say multiplier effect? Please note that you are given two marks. So you don't have to write seven paragraphs just fighting for two marks. A lot of learners make a mistake putting a lot of effort on uh, something that has very few marks. According to the multiplier effect, an increased expenditure can result in a greater rise in national aggregate revenue, also uh, gross domestic product. You get yourself two marks. What causes a positive uh, multiplier impact as investment increases? This is your last question. And... Uh, Please note that it's just two marks. 
but I'm just going to give you as many as possible. Businesses will produce and supply more products resulting in more profits. Remember, we are talking about the increase in the investment. Once there is an increase in the investment, it means that uh, businesses are producing more. The supply also increases. That means the businesses are also going to get high profits. Improved productivity motivates businesses to hire additional employees in order to satisfy increased uh, demand. So, for the businesses to be able to produce more, they need to hire more workers. Remember, when there is an increased demand, the households are buying more, they are demanding more. So, you need to increase um, your supply. In order to match the supply, you need to produce more. That means you have to hire more workers. Now that more workers have been hired, it means that the households are now earning more money. So when they have more money, they are going to demand more. That means the expenditure by the households also increases. So it also results in increased government revenue and expenditure. How so? Remember we said we have hired more workers. When there are more workers that have been hired, those workers are going to be paying tax. That means the government is now getting more money. The government revenue increased. When the government revenue increased, that means the government is also able to spend more. That is why we are saying it results in increased government revenue and expenditure. When the government boosts its expenditure, it is injecting money into the economy. Remember, we said when the government uh, spend more money, they are actually injecting. They are actually putting money into the economy. So, you can see that the multiplier is in operation since every new expenditure is an injection into the economy. But, the pace is determined by the marginal propensity to consume. It all depends on the MPC. Thank you for watching.